Hello legends in the day is Ipswich Town versus Port Vale. Hey my legends, it is your boy Link and um, Ipswich Town have only got two home games left of the season hopefully. Because hopefully there's no playoff home leg. And um, it's Port Vale tonight and if Ipswich win the next four, they will get promoted on their last home game of the season which would be special. Um, I hope they don't get promoted on the away game. Obviously, I'd rather that than not get promoted, but it'd be so good to to do it at home. It would be real special. Um, bit of a weird vlog today. Normally, I try to vlog like the whole day, but I've just had a bit of a shitty day, like mood wise and stuff. I've been relatively busy. Um, yeah, I've just not had a fun day. All right, I've not had a, not had the best day. Hopefully, it was just town cheering up a little bit with a big win. And that's even coming off Liverpool winning six one last night. Like you think I would have come into this in a bloody great mood, but I haven't. But yeah, I'm not in the best mood. But I think it was such a win. Um, the weather looks fairly nice. Um, I forgot to put my trousers in the dryer. So do I wear shorts or do I wear like uncomfortable jeans? I really don't like wearing jeans at football when you're like sat. Do you know what I mean? Like I just don't. I, I'm not. A, I don't really like wearing jeans anymore. I've sort of gone off jeans. But yeah, um, I haven't dried my trousers. So do I wear shorts? Or do I wear jeans? That's a big dilemma now. Um, and yeah, I need to have some pre-match food now before I go. And um, yeah, I'm still on um, like tablets that sat on my stomach. So um, we can't have a beer today either. So that's like. We're getting there though, my appendix doesn't hurt and in some positive news and also last night I played football for the first time since my first appendicitis so I made it back quicker than Phil Foden so you know, am I fitter than Phil Foden? Statistically I am, I think, but yeah, um, I'm sure you provide lots of statistics that show he's better like bleep tests and stuff, but yeah, um, it's good to be back playing football, it was really nice yesterday to go back and play football and see all the lads and that. Uh, but we need it just to win tonight. It's huge. Um, every game feels like it's like do or die at this point in the season, which is quite daunting, quite intimidating, quite scary. But all you can do is, is play the teams in front of you and do your best. And all you can do as a, a fan is sit there and try and make some noise and try and cheer the boys over the line. So I'm going to go some dinner and then we'll go to the game. Presenting tonight's dinner with loads of background noise because the washing machine and the tumble dryer is on. Chicken wings. Look at those bad boys. I love my air fryer. So I made an executive decision that as I couldn't have a, a pre-match pint, I'm having a pre-match cigar instead. Don't smoke, kids. Smoking kills. There we are again. Good old-fashioned Portland Road. No, you can't. Turnstile wasn't working, so I had to wait about 20 minutes again. What? Yeah. Hopefully, the ref warming up for a good game for once. I wouldn't be too confident, though. Here comes the players. Big win, Nathan. Big win, Nathan. Free group. There's not really been any chances for anyone yet. But this might crow one. So 
the Thames now. Got a couple of blokes warming up. Louis still around. I've got a picture because I'm a big kid. But um, yeah, Verla wasting time every time they get a chance. If you haven't created anything, like, I feel like it's like a little bit desperate, like a little bit rushed. Just need to be a bit more patient in possession, and the chances will come. But it's one nil to Vale. Early goal would be really nice in the second half. Town just scored, but I was too busy celebrating the film. One one, let's go. Still on. Plus Shrewsbury's now now beating but, um, our guy, so that'll be. The I'm being scored out. Right, like a dickhead. Town just got a penalty with 10 minutes left. This is so nervous. Six minutes of stoppage time has just started. Only two minutes in the first half, although they were time wasting. But they were time wasting, now they want the stoppage time. How stupid is that? Ale, ale, ale. Ale, ale, ale. Only three seconds left, surely. Found on it, what, 2 1. I was a little bit hungry, so I'm having a little donna wrap to celebrate my mixed donna. I have to say as well, that's the most nervous I've been for a football game all season. Like, even Liverpool games haven't made me that nervous because there's not been much pride in that. Like, Liverpool don't have anything to play for. Whereas, like, this is about promotion. And at one point, Plymouth were losing and Ipswich were top. And, We'll talk about it properly when I get in, but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So I'm home now, and Ipswich unfortunately aren't top of the league now because Plymouth obviously won. But if they win their next three home games, well, win the next two games, then last home game of the season, they could get promoted, which will be the next Ipswich Town vlog. I'm very excited. I'm so excited for it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it, because that's going to be a hell of a vlog. You know, the last day of the season at home. Well, it's not the last day of the season because there's another game week after that, which could be even bigger. Um, I'll probably vlog that um, watching from home or maybe even do a live stream if it's that big, depending on what's at stake. Like, if promotions at stake, maybe do a live stream. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that sort of thing. But it was a very average game from Ipswich, but they were willing to do one thing. And that was to disrupt the switch and counter-attack and play set pieces. That's what they were there to do. They did a good job of it. The time wasting was incredible. How did six minutes added on in the second half, but two minutes in the first? I genuinely don't know. It doesn't make like mathematical sense to me. But it's gone. Ipswich have won. That's what matters. And um, oh, how do our goal keep scraping points? How do our Kyle every game just seem to scrape three points? Like, you know, deflected goals and luck and 96 minute winners and God, I'm starting to hate them. But yeah, it's um it's been a great season and I'm excited for the next one. But we've got one more, you know, one more home game this season, hopefully. I say hopefully because I don't want to be playing in the playoffs, so no one wants to see that. Well, unless you're watching this and you support one of the other teams. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. I've been Link. You've been my legends. Comment down below your man of the match as always. Um, mine's probably Broadhead, but not because he did anything too spectacular. He just, he finished two chances, which is which is what Ipswich needed, you know. And one of them was a penalty as well. So is it really a chance? It, props that it was a pressure penalty. Like, to be fair, the pressure on that penalty was big. You know, big. So yeah, well done, Broadhead. And um, also, I just want to add as well, like while we're talking about performances, like I always advocate that I prefer Freddie Ladapo to George Hurst, 
But to be honest, I've got to say today, I feel like George Hurst was better. And I feel like maybe Hurst does deserve to start of the next game. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's a hot debate in the Ipswich sort of community who should play. Um, I think the rest of the team really picks itself. Only thing I would say is like, I like Luongo and Morsey, but I just I don't know if we want someone different in there. Like they're so similar in their style. Yeah, uh, you, know, you know, also their stature. Like they're both like short, aggressive, strong, quite fast for centre but they're not like they're similar. You know, and they're both the, the, they're similar. And I think in the midfield too, maybe you want more balance. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think of that as well. But yeah, I think the next ship's vlog could be a special one. So stick around for it. All there's left to say is I've been Link, you've been my legends, and I will see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, Go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never ever miss what is coming up real soon.